Union Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi Tuesday afternoon attended the SEK Bishops and Senior Clergy Conference 2022. While addressing the clergy, Matiangi said that the government has put into place stringent measures to ensure that the upcoming August polls are conducted peacefully. Matiangi has also hailed the Anglican Church for its role in engaging government on issues affecting the nation. As Tess Njenga reports, the conference, which began on Monday 18th, will run till Thursday 22nd. April with the theme Wholesome Living for a Wholesome Nation Road to 2022 Election and Beyond. While addressing the clergy on the country's state of security, Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi has said that it is by and large safe and secure, adding that the ministry is thoroughly prepared for the elections. President Kenyatta has appointed over 600 new chiefs and assistant chiefs to create new areas of administration that are closer to the people. Just recently, the public service promoted 6,000 of those administrators to new ranks to give them new responsibilities. The president has demanded that before the elections, every deputy county commissioner has a brand new vehicle. And what that means is that in some counties, you have four or five vehicles that are going to be used by national government officials who are moving around the country. Matiangi also dismissed the deep state notion, saying that the government is being run in a transparent manner. You know, when you keep saying this deep state, who is that? And the people are using that phrase and complaining, are, sitting, are members of the National Security Council. They hold public offices. They tell you they are powerful people. So who is that? Not this facade and the stories that are being co uh, uh, coined and being bandied around, just so that people create the excuses and the camouflage around things that don't exist to survive, or create excuses and pathways of lying and carrying the public along with them. During the ACK clergy conference aimed at discussing and building consensus on key issues of concern with regard to securing a peaceful election, ACK Archbishop Most Reverend Jackson Olesa Pitt offered a collective commitment to praying for national cohesion ahead of the August polls. We call the church to gather to pray for the nation, particularly this year, under the theme wholesome living for a wholesome nation. We realize as a church we have a duty and a responsibility to ensure that Kenya is safe because that's where we operate and do God's mission. Also present in the conference were Attorney General Kihara Karioki, Cabinet Secretary for Youth and ICT Joe Musheru and Inspector General of Police Hilary Mutiambai. The IG assured that the National Police Service is well prepared for the elections. National Police Service is properly and well prepared for the election. <laughs> we, have, we have enough numbers. <laughs> we have enough numbers. And men and women in the National Police Service are well trained to handle this matter. We don't conduct elections, but we support IBC to conduct elections. On his part, ICTCS Joe Musheru assured of safe and secure technology to conduct and transmit the elections while giving the media a safe space for broadcast and conducive environment for election coverage. Um, the first thing is that we do not conduct any elections. The second thing, we do not have access to the servers. <laughs> okay? Th those are not, uh, it's not our domain and neither do we have the passwords. Ours is to create an environment, an environment that will allow the IBC to be able to conduct the elections and do so in a way that is secure. Attorney General Kehara Karioki affirmed that the country is ready for elections and urged the clergy to tend God's flock as Christ exhorted Peter in response to loving him. We've just come through Lent, Holy Week last week, culminating in the crucifixion and resurrection of our Lord, as you know better than anyone else. I asked myself, what 
would God have us do? Your grace. In these circumstances, at this time. And I remember the words of our Lord to Simon Peter. Do you love me? And I pose it as a challenge to us this afternoon. Do you love me? Christ asked. So you may well ask, um, Your Grace, we tell you that we are ready, and indeed we are ready for the next general election. What support can you as a church render to this process? The issues of voter bribery also came up where CS Matiangi assured that the thorny issue will be dealt with. That is a danger that I see in this election. Unprecedented commercialization and voter bribery. If we are not careful as Kenyans, let me say this today in public, if we are not careful, by the time we are done with this electoral cycle, we will have laundered criminals into our elective institutions. He also assured that the government will deal with the conflict in northern Kenya, especially in Marsabit, to foster peace in the nation. Only one option for Marsabit. And we will exercise that option. The Inspector General and the AG sit with me in the National Security Council. They know what I'm talking about. Interior CS Fred Matiangi has assured the country that the government has made sufficient effort to prepare for the August polls. He has at the same time asked Kenyans to dismiss the deep state fears and respect President Kenyatta's democratic right to support Azimio presidential candidate Raila Odinga. For Hope TV News Watch, I'm Tess Jenga.